start wearing purple, wearing purple. Do, 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 do. Hi guys, it's Sink here, and I wanted to do a standing up vlog. Because, well, I can. And also, I've been sitting on my bum, like, all of, for the past two weeks. Just basically sitting on my bum. I get up to get food, to sit on my bum and eat it. I get up to go to class, to sit on my bum and learn. And then I sit on my bum and I do homework and I play Final Fantasy all day. Um, shout out to Kotoko who let me borrow her tripod for this video. She's awesome. Also saved my life one day, see? Oh, hairy arm. But no, seriously, look. You can't even freaking see it, but I have a scar here from when, I swear to god, when I first came back here, I thought I had a bug bite, or not a bug bite, but like a spider bite or something. And I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna die. I'm a hypochondriac, right? <laughs> so, I was just like, holy shit, I'm gonna die. And then, um, like no matter what it was, I didn't really know. So I went over to her, a part of uh, her dorm, she lives like right across from me. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna die. And she's like, here, take this coconut and like rub it on yourself. And then I felt better and it went away. So it was all good. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Couple things. Ah. Well, new thing today, or yeah, in my life. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. So I got, well kind of, kind of got my braces off yesterday. Kind of. I'm in the process of doing it. It's complicated. It's a complicated situation. But if you didn't know, I have braces. And if you didn't know, then that's wonderful because you're really not supposed to see them because they're Invisalign braces. And actually, I'll take them off for you now. But I've had them for like two years. And uh, it was, I mean, I'm sure that they're better than regular braces, but holy crap, it was still really freaking annoying to take them out before and after I ate anything. Like, it's just better not to have braces. I mean, I'm grateful for having them because my teeth don't look like a ratchet mess anymore. But yeah, they're like little invisible teeth things. And you probably noticed them because I had rubber bands for the longest time, but I finally got rid of them. So no more rubber bands. See? And my teeth are like basically straight, like. <laughs> okay. They're basically straight now, like. My lips are so chapped. It's like snowing outside, so sorry. But they're basically straight. Tops are straight. Bottom not so much because of the stupid... It's one tooth. One stubborn tooth that is so freaking crooked. I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. But yeah, it's like... But you know, I don't really mind that much because it gives me personality. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... But they're gonna fix it, which is why I haven't exactly gotten rid of them yet. I still have them, kind of, but, um, good news is I won't have rubber bands anymore for the rest of my life, because they took off the bottom buttons that kept them on, so I will never, ever, 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 ever need rubber bands ever again, which is awesome because I hated those little bastards. They kept on, like, shredding up my cheeks and shit, and then snapping back up in my face, and I was just, you want to fight in my mouth? At me, bro. Get on my level. Also, in other news, I got a new hoodie that's, like, my favorite Thing ever and I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> it's a uh, realm reborn if you guys don't know that and if you couldn't read it it's a realm reborn um, which is probably my most fa the favorite mm, it's probably my favorite game ever right now because like I always love Final Fantasy but like the last I'm gonna say three Final Fantasies which is like not that great at all like just in my opinion I just could not Mm, and like 13, I'm just gonna pretend never existed, like, okay, but that's just me, like, I guess some people like them, I don't know what the whole consensus is, but that's just me. Um, my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time, though, is Crystal Chronicles, which is such a good game. Like, not the Crystal Bear one, which I think is for the Kinect, that game sucks, but um, the one for the GameCube, like way back in the day, and you can play multiplayer on it with SPs, uh, Game Boy SPs and stuff, that game was the legit shit. Like, that is my jam. I love that game. I love the customization and how you can choose your own storyline and things like that. And this game, Final Fantasy Reborn Reborn 14, is like almost exactly like that. Like, there's a lot of essences 
from that game like you can choose your race and like you can choose the way you look and of course it's going to be like that because it's an MMO but like the fact that it is an MMO makes it even better and you can choose like what you do and stuff like that but you know that's just like an MMO in general but still <sighs> I love it and like the character customization is just so wonderful and like yeah so I got I got this hoodie and it has a bard on it because the character that I'm working on is a bard and it's also a Mitoke? It's it's the cat characters. I can't I can't really remember how they're spelt or pronounced or anything. But it's the cat characters, which I've actually have like four cat characters right now. So I got a hoodie. And it's like really freaking long. I'm gonna try to show you guys. It goes down to like oh my Jesus. Basically my knees. <laughs> It's like really warm and comfortable and I've just been wearing it like to bed and everything and like I haven't gotten new clothes in forever so like I kind of forgot what new clothes smelled like and I was just like... Also the thing about my teeth, if you want to see uh, footage of like what my teeth used to look like because like they're not completely perfectly straight but they used to be a ratchet mess. I'm gonna put a picture up right now to show you guys what it kind of looked like. And as you can see this, like, there's that one tooth in the bottom that still hasn't moved and it's still like, it was really, really in front of the other tooth and it just made it look really, really crooked. My front teeth are really crooked too. And here's also a clip of me at an anime convention. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, I put the camera up to my mouth so you guys can hear me. It's like a freaking stupid move of mine, but like, you can definitely see my teeth there. <laughs> Right now, I don't know if you can hear me because there's a concert going on right now in that room where the rave is supposed to be. So, definitely a huge improvement. Speaking of anime conventions, like, you know how YouTube does that thing where, like, it gives you recommendations to, like, um, videos and stuff? I've been getting recommendations to videos for like anime people being like what to expect when you're at an anime convention or anime convention uh, etiquette and things like that which is like a really good idea but the thing of it is this one book that you everybody needs to read if you're an otaku you need to read it because well it's a manga not a book but you need to read it because it's basically if you're ever thinking of going to a convention has everything you need in it and it's drama con by you know, I can never remember this chick's name, but like, she's like my favorite manga artist. But actually, I can't even pronounce it, but that's her name. This is what it looks like. This is the third one. But they're all really freaking good. And such huge classics. Like, I read these, you can tell. Like, hang on, let me get the first one. It's the second one. This is the second one. As you can tell, it is not okay. It's, it's actually held together by a tape right now at the spine <laughs> because I read it so much. I've read this probably like five times or something, this whole series, and um, it's just so good. Like, um, I read it in middle school, like, yeah, like seventh grade or something. Before I even went to a convention, I went to commen uh, my first convention when I was in ninth grade, and um, I was just like, what are they talking about? There's no way it can be anything like this. It's exactly like this. And I actually read them recently again. It's exactly like this. If you need to know anything about an anime convention before you go, I suggest you read all three of these books because they have such a great storyline and the art is amazing, even though the artist is Canadian. But actually, she touches up on that too. But she's a Canadian, I believe. She's my favorite artist and um, really freaking good books. Please pick them up. Please read them. They have them in Barnes Noble and stuff like that still. Like, holy crap. And that's basically all you need for that. I mean, not to, like, completely diss the people. I didn't even see those videos that were in my recommendations list, but I was just like, just read DramaCon. It's so good. So good. And so I'm gonna go and edit this video and probably do some homework and then play more Final Fantasy. I mean, like, look at this. Look at, look at the kind of shitstorm that I'm in. Or, hey, hey, hey. That is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. That. And everybody's probably like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky, snow days, ha 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 ha. No, it's not like that. <laughs> it's like, if you live up north, you get this shit all the time, and you have to go to the store, and to the freaking school, and, or your job. Anyways, nobody cares. <laughs> They're just like, Oh yeah, you have to go out in minus degree weather and still go to work and go to school and stuff like that. And I'm just so like... Okay, so I'm gonna go. 
And I'll see you guys next week with something really, really awesome, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm really, really excited. But yeah, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in any way. And stay positive. I know I'm trying to be. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Get on my level, Panda. Get on my level.